Hey, my name is Oren with MathRive.com. Today I'm showing you how to beat Don't Look Down in 13 minutes and 17 seconds. I think that was my, no, not, no, 11 minutes and 13 seconds. Man, anyway, uh, this is me just running through the game of um, trying my best to handle business as quickly as possible and not fall as much. One of the key things with the speed runners these days is, or just, you know, these, these beginning times when it don't look down just came out, is that you, you want to aim to not fall completely, or if you do, you know, you can restart the game mode or restart your time or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to show you my jumping, uh, whatever shortcuts I do, which I don't do a lot on here. Uh, I just try to do the run as smooth as possible. But um, there are people who have done faster times than this, um, like nine minutes or whatever, you know. So we're, we're getting there. This was, is not really taking up any shortcuts or anything like that. It's just, you know, I mean, I'm doing little things, like those little skill level things, but those are small in comparison to what I've seen done and what I know that I'm also able to do at times. The idea here is you go with what you feel. Go as fast as you can, but also as safe as you can. If you feel like you can't go to the next platform, just stop yourself at the platform before it. I think as, as you can see, I'm also doing a lot of uh, running and moving back and forth to build that momentum so that when I jump again, there's a speed. You know, I'm skipping stuff, skipping platforms along the way, especially in this stage one area and try my best to reach the platform uh, that I can with the level of jump and speed that I'm at. Every jump is like that, where you're really taking, uh, taking advantage of whatever speed has gotten from the jump before. And there are these special little parts here where you easily could fall. So you have to make sure that you are safe where you can be safe and wild when you can go buck wild, especially when there's stuff under you. Um, another thing that I noticed with uh, speed running and just going and trying to handle things as quickly as possible is that double jumps slow you down. So whenever you do jump, if you want to get the level done quickly, I recommend you try to just take single hops when you can. Single hops it will go a long way when you're trying to speed run something. But, you know, double jump is obviously good for safety so you don't, you know, fall. And also just for you to get to uh, shortcuts a lot easier. Just, you know, just small shortcuts here and there. Just, you know, shaving off seconds at a time are good. But if you're taking shortcuts and then you fall, just a short fall, you know, it's probably not worth it to take shortcuts everywhere like this little spot right here the, you, you could have jumped to that foul cabinet but if you miss it you just give up you know just go around the other way don't try to re jump that and try over and over again or you're gonna waste time doing that also these basketballs I fall on them so many times I recommend you know one basketball a jump if possible but you know, sometimes if you feel if you feel froggy, you know, maybe two basketballs go ham. But you know, until you're really comfortable making those jumps, you know, take it take it safe. Uh, as you can see, I'm missing some jumps from here to there, but I'm not like falling. Watch me fall now. Okay, I'm not falling yet. And always stop yourself in midair. Like, don't expect to just land places right and be able to keep it rolling like there are some areas where you can just jump and still hold the run button left or right you know but most times I take my finger off of the arrows when I need to or I try to get on a platform and change direction but change direction again to really get the most out of that platform so I get a good running start that's uh, especially when I'm on platforms where I have more space. I'm like right here. Please stop falling. Get, get. Up. Okay, there you go. Right, up there and yeah. All right. Now these have been this farming area is 
always a toughie with these small areas. The little pumpkins are rough, but the haystacks are okay. They, they have a, a good oval collision, as Josh has mentioned to us, you know, so they're a little tougher. But another tough part are actually the bushes. The corn has a sliding mechanism, which is a, a pretty, pretty hard to maneuver through at first as well. But it shouldn't be too bad. Now, uh, as a speedrunner, I feel like I would love to figure out a way how to get to the top of this maze instead of going through the whole maze, like to get to the top from the jump, no pun intended. That would shave off a good amount of little seconds right there. Find out a way how to get to the top, maybe from that second tree. That would be awesome. But yeah, you go up here. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm up here falling. Going through the maze a second time. Now keep in mind, this is 11 minutes and 13 seconds, so I, I have got a lot of time on me just by missing that jump right there, but got the tractor, up the scarecrow, up there. Now you just jump, keep it running, jump again, and you can make it to that platform without even having, having to land on the stuff underneath. Jump there, get up there, yeah, 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 and up the table. Now we're on the Summit 5, one of the hardest ones to work through. All right, so I'm jumping on the logs, going up the, the fences. These aren't too bad until the fences start doing that, that weird stuff. Yeah, that, there's the weird stuff. You gotta really focus your attention on that weird stuff. All right, boom. I feel like there's a little bit of a shortcut there. And then these platforms are, you know, you can pick which platforms you wanna go to. Uh, some are a little quicker than others, but either way, shouldn't be too much time saved or spent. Obviously, with speed running, time is of the essence, but some of the things aren't even worth the risk. Now, these snowmen, once you get them down, you can literally like run and, and handle handle them really well. Like You can just glide through those things. All right, let's get up here, up there. Now, if I didn't fall earlier, you know, from from there, I, I would I'd be good. All right, go down there. All right, yeah. That's another thing you could shave off some some time by making that on the first round. That little slide. These things are great uh, at catching you if you do fall. Anyway, uh, we're on summit six. As you're gonna see, I'm, I kind of run through the, the the tables very easily. Uh, those circular the circular chairs or whatever. This is a hardy, hardy right here. Don't try to do anything fancy here. Just, just get to where you need to go. All right, lasers. I recommend skipping lasers if you can. I'm skipping right here. Uh, just make sure that your timing is on point with the lasers, especially near the very end of the summit. All right, we're gonna go up here. And there, and then jump here. All right, so nothing too fancy here. Uh, let's just keep our bearings. Now, once you get a good speed going, I recommend just, you know, single hopping these if you can. Or double jumping, whatever. Whatever it takes for you to get there. Don't spend too much time. And you should be able to double jump up there as well. I'm playing around. Get up there. Yeah. Okay, there you go. All right. Don't miss this. Whoop. All right, good. All right. There you go. And now these lasers, there's no way to skip this stuff. You can't, like, I feel like you can probably double. Okay, I double hopped that. I double hopped it, almost tried to triple hop it, and got got, but I, I just double hopped it. So you can double hop those things. That's not bad. All right, let's go to the mathematics, you know what I'm saying, the calculator. I like the math, you know, tribute. Is it a tribute to Math Thrive? I don't know. Probably not. All right, get up here. Now, this part, just make sure your time is good. Ugh. 
Hi there. Good. Good. These lasers, skip them joints. Don't go one laser a pop. Skip two or three of the bugs. Look. Vroom. Alright, now let's go up here. Jump, jump. Wait. Now I'm gonna, I always look at where I wanna go. I'm gonna go right here, just wait here. Now I'm gonna jump up and go all the way to the very end. Jump up and go all the way to the very end. Yep. And now you have saved yourself some time instead of waiting multiple moments. Alright, jump, jump. And jump, jump. No? No jump, jump? Okay. Don't try to jump, jump that. I mean, you could if you if you feel feel froggy. All right, I'm gonna jump all the way to that side there. Wait, and then jump up and then jump up again. I'm gonna double jump that one. And now you are in the clear. The reason why my time is so decent is because of all of these time saving things I've done. But that fall really messed me up. But still, and this is key running through it I, I didn't even try to stop right like i'm just running through it if i fall i fall at this point you know it is what it is i i, I want it do a little dance it's a wrap thank you so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day guys let's look at the time right there it's 11 17 let's go let's go let's go